and activists gathered at governmental plaza today to make sure they say that their voices were heard. They held a memorial service and had a call to action in memory of the African Americans who they say have been unjustly killed during incidents with police both here in Greensboro and throughout the United States. Organizers also asked people to wear white and yellow in honor of Breonna Taylor, the young EMT who was shot and killed by Louisville Metro Police when they entered her home to serve a search warrant back in March. The service also included songs and a self-made memorial where people laid down flowers, candles and signs. We want to see black and brown people treated with dignity. We want to see queer and trans people treated with dignity. We want to defund the police. We want to end the curfew. After the service, the group marched from the courtyard to the intersection of Freeman Mill Road and Westgate City Boulevard, stopping every few minutes. Western Guilford Middle School teacher Brendan Key showed up to be a voice for those students, he says, who may not have one. He spoke with us about what he is going to tell the students when classes begin. It won't be much of a conversation of what we've done so far. It'll be what have you seen um, and how do they feel like justice is going to be portrayed and given as they move forward and they grow in their life. And the curfew went into effect at 8 p.m. tonight. So far, we have not seen anyone out here tonight. In Greensboro, Justin Schreier, WXII 12 News. Thanks, Justin.